I'm University of Illinois Extension's Todd Gleason. We're talking with Emerson Nafziger today, agronomist from the U of I here in Urbana-Champaign on the Illinois campus. You have some corn in the South Farm plots, in our research plots that was planted early. Can you take us through the planting dates and what kind of damage, if any damage, has been done to those plots by the cold weather this past week? We planted our first planting and it's just a little dab that we planted. We're just trying to see because we had the opportunity. We're running a planting date study and we just added an earlier date to it. We planted the first one on March the 16th. It was up uh, early this week about oh, four or five inches tall. It had three leaves on it and some smaller ones of course coming out. The second planting that we made was on, I believe, March the 29th, and it had spiked through. Both of them came up in about eight or nine days, and so the second planting had spiked through and was uh, up just starting to unfold its leaves there when the cold weather hit earlier in the week. Do you know the temperature overnight and the lows for the South Farms? The, I think we were Officially, I think our low temperature was 28, uh, may have been 29 or 30 the next day. It was 28 on Wednesday morning. And, what kind of damage uh, happened? Well, I could tell when I looked at them about 7 on Wednesday morning and I knew that we had a problem. As we've seen before on these rare occasions when we get it this cold when the corn is this size, we had this happen in the first week of May back in 2005 here in a planting date study that we had. That year we did a fair amount of replanting over in the western part of Illinois. If people were aggressive and got planted in the first week of April that year, the corn was about the size we see it now if it was in the first week of May. Somewhat surprisingly, although the damage was similar, we had the leaves Basically what happens when you get temperatures like that is the leaves on the plants radiate to the cold sky. They get even a little colder than the air temperature and that just kills them. So a lot of leaf area is dead. The odd thing is that it's, it's some plants it's not dead and the plant right next to it it might be dead. And this isn't the first time we've seen this. It's a very delicate thing out in the field where the soil, the warmer soil, is also radiating to the leaves, and so it's helping keep them warm a little bit, offering some protection. And the combination is some plants seem to survive. All of the plants lost some leaf area, but some of them today look pretty healthy, and some of them look like they're not going to live. The question of whether they'll live or not is one that we thought had been settled, that when you get this kind of temperature, the growing point is still about an inch, three quarters of an inch below the ground, hasn't really started to grow yet, the stem of the plant, that tip of the stem is the growing point. But we saw back in 2005, we saw plants that never showed a single sign of life after cold weather, and it looks to me a little bit like we may see that again this year. Now when when it's cold like this and dry and you know there's not very good growing conditions anyway during the days now it takes plants a long time to figure out how to come back but the fact of the matter is these that have their leaf area pretty much killed down to the ground and I suspect there are some whole fields like that in some parts of central Illinois that were planted very early uh, we're not certain at all that they're going to come back or that they're going to come back and turn into healthy plants. How but soon will we know? We'll, we'll know in time to do a, a good replant. Uh, <laughs> it's, if it rains and the temperatures warm up this weekend, we're going to have a lot better idea by Monday or Tuesday. The truth of the matter is, though, that with the leaf area killed down to the ground, these are not going to have green leaf tissue on them, even if they manage to grow back. Their green leaf tissue is going to develop very slowly, 
and the plants certainly are not going to do any growing in the meantime. They have no source of food materials to grow if they don't have green leaf tissue. And the worry, one of the worries is that those, if you go down the row and occasionally have a plant that's the leaf area has been killed, is it going to grow back and try to be a good competitor with its neighbors, or is it just going to turn into a non-productive plant? So some of these issues we're going to, we're going to be seeing. I think uh, by about the 20th of April, we're going to have a, a pretty good idea whether these fields should be kept or whether they should be uh, replanted. Which sizes are most vulnerable? So we've seen spike and two leaf, four or five inches. I think that the, of course, the larger plant, the larger the amount of leaf area, the more leaf area got killed. Uh, but anything that had its leaves out into sort of a horizontal condition, so if the, if the leaves were more or less horizontal, then they were subject to, to getting killed by frost. And those are the plants that are going to take the biggest beating. Just spiking through should be okay. Uh, coming up, anything planted after the 1st of April should be okay, even though most of those fields that were planted the first few days of April are up by now. And we planted something about 12% of our crop in the first week of April, so most of that should be safe. The 5% that got planted before the, the 1st of April, uh, I would expect anything planted between March 15th and March 20 could certainly have a problem. And that planted up through March 25, depending on the air drainage in the field and how cold it really got in the low parts of the field, some of that could be in real, pro real trouble as well. Even if the plants come back and produce green leaf area again, the question's going to linger whether those are going to turn into fully productive plants. We've seen this phenomenon before with very early planted corn. When it gets to a low temperature, sometime about two, three, four leaf stage, we think that it physiologically can do some damage. That means that crop, that that plant never really becomes fully productive again. That's a really tough call, but I think the best we can do is see whether these, this comes back vigorously with good green color and good growth early. And if it struggles along and by the end of April it still looks like it's going to survive but not thrive very well, then these fields st might still be a candidate to be replanted. Thanks so much, Emerson. Sure. Emerson Nafziger is an extension agronomist at the University of Illinois. I'm Todd Gleason.